What is going on guys, this is William Mouse for you here and today I'll be teaching you how to make a blue snowball or any kind of microphone sound like a studio microphone. For this tutorial I'm going to use my blue snowball because that's, that's the microphone I have and also if you find this tutorial helpful at all make sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you haven't already and let's just get right into the video. So basically all you need to do is go in your Google Chrome or any web browser you really do use, go to this links in the description we have free links in the description we have dropbox vb audio voice meter and we have vb audio virtual apps so what you're going to go ahead and do is go to the vb audio virtual apps then you're going to scroll all the way down or almost all the way down until you find this one install vb cable virtual audio device so you can click download now and you're just going to open it right here and um, once you've done that this is this is like kind of the tricky part so what you're going to go ahead and do now is basically go back. You need to VinRAR for this tutorial, by the way. I'll leave it in the description as well. But what you're going to go ahead and go and do is make sure to make a new folder on your desktop called something like it's GG, it doesn't really matter. What you're going to go ahead and do now is find the thing you just downloaded. So this is the, kit, this is the thing right here. You're going to extract that to that file or the, that folder. Just extract it and then you're going to open it. And then what you go ahead and do is basically... If you have a 32-bit computer, use this one. If you have 64-bit, use this one. But what you're going to have to do is right-click and right-click Run as Administrator. And then you just basically install it. I'm not going to do that because if I do that, my voice will disappear. So you're just going to run as an Administrator and click the Download or Install in the program. And once you've done that, all you're going to do now is go to the second link in the description, which is basically VB Audio uh, Voice Meter. So... Basically, just click on this download now where it says the Minecraft thing. Click on download now. You're going to click on the zip package or the exe file. So, I'm going to use the zip package for this tutorial. So, you're going to install that. It really just takes a second. Once you're done that, you're going to open the RAR file and just install it from here. And I'm not going to do that as I said because my voice disappeared and that's not really good for tutorial. So, once you've done all that, you're going to open your software and it will look something like this. You can see I'm talking right now. So, this is the thing that goes up. And it's pretty good software, I will say that it's a really good software. It's much better than Audacity in my opinion. So, what this is where the third file comes in from Dropbox. So all you need to do is download this file from Dropbox. Click download here, it'll say in English or whatever language you're from. So click download, direct download and you're just going to install it. It's right here. Click keep and then you're going to drag this on your desktop right here. And once you've done that, you're going to go to menu, you're going to click load settings. And you're going to select the file right here, the audio file. I'm not going to do that because my voice will disappear as I said. So basically, when you load the file, you have like preset settings right here. So if these two aren't red, make sure to click on the M and it'll become red because you just need to disable these. You don't really need those. All you need is the hardware out and hardware input. So for hardware input, I use my blue snowball because that's basically what these settings are for. And hardware out you may you have to make sure that this is a hardware out vb audio point and on this is the tricky thing you need this program open 24 7. for example if you're on a skype call and want to use you like you want to talk with a good microphone you know, like a studio microphone you need to use this program to make your voice sound like that so you're just going to have this open 24 7 basically if you want to use it 24 7. and that's pretty much it so you can choose your mic here and yeah, you can record videos, you can do whatever you really want to. So I'm just going to open Audacity right now and show you basically how it looks. So you're going to go to like microphone and you're always going to choose the voice meter output. Choose that one and it'll basically work like a... Um, like the microphone sound like a studio microphone. That's pretty much all you need. It's pretty easy and it's much better on Audacity. Audacity, like, it's not that good program. It's, it's kind of good, but it's good for beginners. But this program is really good if you want to make your microphone sound 10 million times better. And what you can do here, if you don't want to use these presets, you can choose the voice thing here. So if you drag this thing up here, you can choose, like, the echo and shit. It's pretty cool. So, um... If you want to do that, you can make sure to do that, and you can choose the bass, and you can, you can basically do whatever you want. But I'll, I'll leave the preset in the description as well, so I'll, I'll recommend you use the preset, and you can change whatever you want. But yeah, so that's pretty much been the whole tutorial on how to make your voice sound a million times better than using Audacity. And this program is like the best program I've ever used on my PC, it's such a good program. 
so I would recommend downloading it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Anyway, this has been Weird Mouse for you, and I'm out.